In the atmosphere, there are all kinds of gases. Oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide and water vapor are the most well known. Despite the fact that these gases are all very light, they do have a weight. The weight of all those gases at a certain area is called air pressure. Air pressure is the weight of all the gases above it. The air pressure isn't everywhere the same. In some areas there are more gases in the air than elsewhere. This causes the air to flow. Compare it when a glass of water is pushed over. The water flows equally to all sides and is spread in every direction. The air also wants to be spread equally over the whole earth. Air flows from areas with a lot of gases to areas with less gases in the air. But what is the origin of a region with fewer gases? Most substances which are warmed expand. The same is true for air. It expands when it is warmed. Imagine a small column of air, which is called a thermal. When the air is heated inside the column of air, the gases expand. Because there are less gases in the area, the air is getting lighter than its surrounding, which will cause the air to rise. This can be compared with holding a light piece of wood under water. The wood is lighter than the water and will rise and float on the water. The same accounts for the light air. It rises because it's lighter than the surrounding air. At places where the sun is high at the sky, so around the equator, the sun heats the surface of the earth very well. The column of air at this area is warmed and expands, causing the air to rise. The weight of the column of air decreases. This is called a low pressure area. The air has got a lower weight which gives less pressure at the surface of the earth. Around the equator is almost always a low pressure area. The gases which have risen can only rise to a height of approximately 6 miles or 10 kilometers. They spread north and southward. 2500 kilometers or 1500 miles north and south, they sink again to the surface of the earth around the 30th latitude circle. Because a lot of air sinks to the earth, there are a lot of gases at the surface. Air pressure is a lot higher in this region. That's why this is called a high pressure area. At the surface of the earth, the gases will flow from the high pressure area to the low pressure area. This airflow is called a Hadley cell. Now we've only seen the airflow around the equator. Let's look at the airflow of the whole world. Air which sinks around the 30th latitude circle doesn't only flow to the equator, but also to the 60th latitude circle. At the north and south pole is very cold. Gases cool, which makes them shrink. The weight of the air increases and sinks, which causes a high pressure area. From the north and south pole, air flows over the surface of the earth to the 60th latitude circle. At the 60th latitude circle, the cold air collides with the airflow coming from the 30th latitude circle. So at the 60th latitude circle, air from the north or south pole collides with the air coming from the 30th latitude circle. This causes the air to rise. So also in this area, low pressure area exists. The gases high in the atmosphere spread in northern and southern directions. The airflow between the 30th and 60th latitude circle is called the ferrule cell, while the airflow between the 60th latitude circle and the polar regions is called the polar cell. Now we've seen all the pressure areas of the Earth. This is called atmospheric circulation.